Hello Stitchers and welcome back to my channel. It is Jenny from Jenny Stitches. I hope you are all well today. Well, I'm back with a sewing plans video and it's been a while since I've had a chance to talk about my makes and my sewing. And surprisingly, sometimes it can feel a little bit like my sewing is the bottom of the heap. <laughs> um, I know I've said lots of times before, I don't get as much time to sew as I was like with owning a sewing shop, which is frankly ridiculous. However, I do have a few plans for the next sort of couple of months as we're changing seasons. And I thought it would be nice to record a video and share those with you today. Um, I don't know about you, but I tend to find this time of year very in-betweeny. Um, <laughs> it's not kind of, for me, it's not really the right weather for tights off just yet. <laughs> it's not that warm that I want to have my legs out and my summer dresses on. It's still quite cold up here in the north of England. Um, it, it's been raining a lot still. Um, so although we're not winter, we're definitely into spring. Um, I'm just not quite feeling it with the full-on light floral dresses just yet. So with that in mind, some of these selections are still a bit on the snuggly warm side, but that's fine. That's practical and that's how I like my sewing. Um, I've learned over the years to try not to make too many fancy items, otherwise I end up with a wardrobe full of clothes that I don't wear. So without further ado let's get stuck in and have a look at what I hope to be working on in the next few weeks. Okay I'm going to kick off with um, a pair of cargo pants. Now I spoke about this on my recent Friday live video um, a few weeks ago now and, and I was sort of talking about what I would sew if I had the time and a pair of cargo pants was on that list. Um, I am a child of the 90s, I was born in the 80s and grew up in the 90s and I remember this trend the first time round and I adored them then. Um, <laughs> just loved the cargo pants. Um, except back then everything was with a low waist, which I hated, but now high waists are in so we've really got the best of both worlds. So I'm excited to make a pair. I think they'll be super practical to wear with things like pumps and t-shirts and cardigans, sweaters, that kind of thing which is really, really good for days like these when I don't really want to be wrapped up in full winter gear, but as I've just said, I also don't want to be sort of cold. <laughs> um, and also practical for whilst I'm at work, in the shop, and I'm running around, doing lots of lifting and carrying and moving. Really, really comfy. So this is my um, viscose linen blend, and it's got a little bit of stretch to it. I'll show you here. It's just got a bit of elastane in it, which just gives it a little bit of give um, and it's got a lovely drape to it so it's not too thick but also not too thin if that makes sense so i think that's going to carry us right through into the summer um, and i love this deep green colorway i've also got some in gray on the shelf and hopefully i'll get some more colors back in because this was very popular last year it's a bit wrinkly because it's been pre-washed so it's just ready to be pressed and cut out um the pattern that I'm going to use is the Sew Me Something Ariel Cargo Trousers. That to me ticked all the boxes for what I was looking for. I wanted the elasticated cuffs. Um, yeah, and they look slim and kind of stylish without being uncomfortable looking. So really happy with that design choice. Okay, apologies. I've had to sort of sandwich a little bit of video in here because my camera decided to miss a part out. So I'm just going to finish off telling you about the cargo pants. <laughs> yes, so the only issue that I had with this particular pattern is in my hurry to check out and get cracking and my excitement, um, I hadn't realised that it doesn't come with the A0 files. So it just came with a print at home version of the PDF which was a little bit frustrating if I'm honest but it's not the end of the world I'll just have to do some sticking <laughs> but um, yeah I'm probably just a bit of a spoiled princess now that I have an A0 printer I don't like to stick A4s together um, and I did notice that they do sell an A0 printed option so they must print them themselves so yeah that's just a little bit frustrating but never mind um, okay on to item number two 
So the second item that I want to make is hopefully going to be a nice quick one. Um, I've made this pattern twice before, just before Christmas, and it is the Wardrobe By Me Half Zipper Sweater. And I'd like to use my um, organic soft sweatshirt in for this one. This is the same base fabric as the Cashmere Stanton hoodie that I've been making. Um, however, this is a beautiful sort of soft lilac colourway, which is obviously piece of me. Um, I'm going to pair it with my mauve ribbon. Um, I don't have that with me right now but it's very very similar. It's not a perfect match but it's close enough. Um, I've had so much wear out of those half zipper sweaters and it's very unlike me to make a pattern more than once <laughs> but um, I've just found myself reaching for them over and over again but the boucle version and obviously the Christmassy version that I made are not really what I want to be wearing in spring and um, I can see myself getting wear out of this um, right the way through um, sort of spring and summer you know as a, as a sort of evening layer and for pairing with jeans or with cargo pants so so yeah, I think that's going to be really, really nice um, and I'm looking forward to whizzing that one up because it's a lovely fast make. Right, so the third item on this plans list is to make a new dressing gown. Now, I will admit that I entirely stole this idea from a customer of mine, Michelle, who asked me to buy in some bamboo toweling because she wanted to make a dressing gown and the more I looked at it, I thought, I want one too. <laughs> so I have a sort of trusty dressing gown at home that my cat absolutely loves. Um, but I'm a little bit fed up of it now and I'd like something lighter for the spring. Um, and this bamboo toweling is just lovely. It's a bamboo cotton poly blend, I think. Um, and it's very, very light. So you can see that it's not thick and heavy like 100% cotton toweling would be. You know when you get spa robes and they kind of pin you down? Not like that, really nice and lightweight. So I think for a spring summer robe for at home, this is gonna be ideal. Um, and yeah, this is the white colorway. I've cut it and I've pre-washed it. it smells amazing. <laughs> a little bit obsessed with fairy washing powder. Um, and the pattern that I'm gonna use for this one is the Love Notions Compose Robe. Um, again, we were talking about um, dressing gowns and robes on Friday Live and a few of you recommended that pattern. Um, it also comes with a hair wrap, which I think is great. If I've got enough leftovers, I'll definitely be making that. Um, and one of the main reasons that I picked that one was because it has a hood. So I think that's going to be lovely and I can't wait to make it. And I'm kind of hoping that the cat doesn't like this one as much <laughs> because uh, I'm thinking that I may turn my old robe into um, a couple of cushions for her but you know what cats are like they don't sit where you want them to sit so we'll see how we get on with that one okay we're still looking at snuggly and warm here <laughs> I'm not quite into the pretty summer frocks just yet um, but this is alpine fleece if I've if you've not managed to pick that up off my channel just yet, Alpine Fleece is a lovely sweatshirt in fabric and the reverse side has a soft, fluffy kind of fleecy back to it, which just makes it really snuggly and lovely. Um, this is quite a sizable piece of Alpine Fleece and as you can see, it has a fault. And in fact, all the way through it, it's got some horizontal lines, which are very, very subtle. So for me, I would not sell this, the quality is not good enough to sell, however that doesn't stop me from putting it to one side for myself <laughs> and there is quite a sizable piece of it here. Um, so my plan is to hopefully make um, a pair of joggers for sort of around the house and Sundays and if I have enough to make a matching sweater, either a plain sweater but if I've got enough fabric I'd like to make a hoodie. Um, so the pattern that I'm going to use for the joggers is Simplicity 9278 which as you can see here has a lovely set of jogging bottoms on the bottom with elasticated waist and an elasticated cuff and pockets so I think that's going to be ideal. I came across that in the book a couple of weeks ago and I thought aha that's what I'm after um, and if I do have enough left over I will be using the Helen's Closet Jackson sweater 
and hopefully the hood add-on that goes with it. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Um, I know that's a little bit wintry for this time of year, but as I say, layers are never going to go amiss, particularly here in the north. <laughs> Even when I'm out in the garden this summer, I'm going to want a jumper to put on of an evening and things. So that should be great. Okay, on to the pretties. Um, I don't have a huge number of plans for sort of lightweight summer dresses just yet. Um, I'm one of those people that I will sew depending on the mood that I'm in at the time. So I know a lot of you will sew a season ahead and you'll probably be planning your sort of summer wardrobes right now. For me, I have to be in the moment. Um, and at the moment, it is raining outside. <laughs> it was clear before, now it's raining. It's still very much on and off. So, um, however, when these fabrics came in, I knew that I would have to have some of them for something this spring or summer. So, <laughs> this is the Indoor Jungle Cotton Lawn. Um, and it's got this sort of house plant inspired kind of design on it and the colours are just phenomenal. We've got sort of teals and pinks on the go here which are just really my sorts of colours. I adore them. Um, initially I thought that I would make a blouse with this but when I held it up in the mirror the other day I thought no that needs to be a dress. Um, <laughs> just to take really sort of make the most of that print I want it to be more of it than just a blouse so i'm thinking that i might finally get around to making up the emporia patterns penelope dress um i purchased this pattern from the girls from emporia in the stitch festival last year so i've had this pattern for over 12 months now um and i have mentioned it a couple of times on here that i intend to make it <laughs> so now is the time to get around to it but I'm definitely feeling more inspired by fabrics at the minute than I am patterns. So, like I say, I think that will come as the weather picks up a little bit and I start thinking a bit more about summer dresses because I can't really cope with the thought of having my legs out or being cold just yet. I'm still very much layers. <laughs> also, at the same time, this beautiful... Uh, rainbow tie-dye linen viscose blend when that arrived last week I just knew I had to have some of this in my wardrobe this summer and I think my best contender for this at the moment is actually the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress um, which I've made before but I'd like to make again with the shorter length without the midi tier on the bottom um, and just with the short sleeves um, I think it's probably a little bit reminiscent of the pattern cover which has a very multicoloured vibrant design on it um, but yeah I, I think that would be really nice for work for sort of coming into the shop I've got a bright yellow pair of saltwater sandals that I just know would coordinate beautifully with that so those are loose plans at the moment, which may change, but I know I want to work with these two fabrics. So if I come back to you <laughs> in the future and I've made something entirely different, that's my disclaimer right now. Um, and the last thing that I'm going to mention today is that I've just had a hankering to make a bit of a like project bag for some of my knitting and embroidery supplies and I really fancy making a quilted project bag and I can't honestly tell you where that's come from I think maybe I've watched too many TikTok videos where people are making quilted bags um, but I have a little remnant piece left over of this beautiful Diastella fabric I'm just going to hold that up so you can see the print there um, unfortunately this is the last of this particular bolt but I do have it in a different colourway um, and yeah it's just got all the things that I love on it it's got wool it's got sewing machines it's got embroidery it's just very very cute like sewing paraphernalia um, and I think a little bag for some of my supplies would be really really sweet um, I'm always looking for a bag for when I sort of hop in the car on a long journey with my husband and I want to take my knitting that kind of thing so some form of quilted bag with that would be lovely 
Okay, so that's everything for this little selection of makes or potential makes. Um, I hope to be back with you soon with an update on some of these things. I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. Um, as always, plans do change depending on <laughs> different levels of inspiration that come along. Um, I'd be really interested to hear if you struggle with the sort of in-between seasons issues as well but as always thank you for watching if you did enjoy this video please do like and subscribe because it's very very helpful um, and I look forward to seeing you soon have a wonderful long weekend and keep an eye out for all of the bank holiday deals that are going to be taking place over on the website and I will see you soon happy sewing bye bye